add a boat in here. I can type in boat. Look at what it does. It's all about generative fill in Photoshop. And you might have a photo that you only have a glimpse of it. It's vertical image and I wanna make it horizontal. Our goal is to make a different size for Instagram. So we're gonna click here and we can do a sort of 1024 by 1350. That is the Instagram size. Let's try that. We'll extend this out nice and big. Holding down the option key will drag it out from the center. I can make this much bigger, like this size. And so I've added to the canvas that many pixels. Use my marquee tool, select the inside. This is why I love this contextual bar, invert selection. Now it selects the outside. Rather than typing something in here, we're gonna click generate. Here we are. And if we take a look at the properties panel, we get three other versions. So we can click and click. By the way, this isn't that high a res. If you are kind of filling a large area, I would encourage you to do it in just pieces. This was like a high res image that I wanted. I would do this side first, generate. Do it in pieces so you'll get that higher resolution if you need that higher resolution. Add a boat in here. Still using my marquee tool, I'm just gonna select the big thing here is to be mindful of what is big. <laughs> be mindful of sizes. You're controlling the size. And then right in here, I can type in boat. Look at what it does and gives me different versions. Come on down, people. Take this huge area and let's do a, that just crashed in the lake. So that's what I'm typing in there. Clicking generate. So here's our crashed spaceship. And I really like this one. And if you ever have a weird part that you don't like, Let's take these two pieces and let's just go generative fill. Anytime you keep it blank, it's going to remove. So it'll remove that. And there we are. And we actually have different versions of that. I want to add some more up top. So right up here, I'm going to do generative fill and add some clouds. So we'll just generate some clouds up there. What I'd like to do is make it look like this was just discovered by someone. So since I have this ground, I'm going to select this area. Hiker back to camera. Okay, there we are. I like this one. If I decide to change the ship, look what happens. Because this hiker actually included part of that ship. So each one of these layers has a mask. This is the whole thing that was generated. What if I wanna move this character? Take this layer and I would convert it to a smart object. Now, that generative layer is still in there. With that selected, look at my contextual menu. Remove background. So what I do, convert to smart object, remove background. This is an Adobe stock file, so just keep that in mind. You can always go to stock.adobe.com. Just change this to free and then get sort of all the free starter images you need. And if you don't have access to the starter file, kind of making our own. Select generative fill right here from this contextual bar. And I'll say outdoor landscape with a reflective lake. We'll click generate. This is what it does based on that prompt to create this image. But not only that one, there's this one, there's this one. Now let's say I wanna actually change this outdoor mountain landscape with a reflective lake and then click generate. Ooh, this is more like it. So this is our, our starter files kind of like this. And then here's what we just created magically. Look at that, look at that, so good. This was created using Adobe Firefly, firefly.adobe.com. You could do the same thing in here underneath text to image. Copy the same prompt and then I could paste it in here and click generate. The unique thing about Firefly in the browser is you have all these other options off to the side. But look at that, we have something like this. I could use this, let's copy it to the clipboard. Let's go into Photoshop, paste that in. And you can see those are pretty similar. Go to your Creative Cloud desktop app right under here under beta apps. This is where you'll find the Photoshop beta. Thanks everybody, bye.